They're works are part of an existing series of my mood paintings. They are autonomous, but they are referential to how color is explored as language in the paintings. Like I assigned colors to my mood based on my relationship with manic depression or bipolar disorder. I assigned colors on a five number scale, one being the most positive and five being the most depressive. And I sort of create these diaries on Excel on an hourly basis of how I'm feeling hour to hour. And once it's done, I sort of convert these into paintings essentially on canvas. And for me, red has been a constant. I use lots of amethyst purples and lilacs and light blues, sometimes pink to represent more positive colors. What seems to sort of fascinate me the most, how the colors dialogue with each other on the canvas. I use oil sticks and apply mm. them directly from, from the oil sticks to canvas. It's mm. very primitive. I achieve straight lines. I, I don't use a paintbrush. And the way in which I achieve these stripes mirrors the way kinti is applied or, and made and, fa and fabricated. I grew up wearing kinti. You know, as a child, I grew up in the Shanti region in my grandfather's village in Javan wearing kinti textile. So it's very nostalgic and represents many, many memories. What I'm doing and trying to do is, in my little corner, is to exist as authentically as possible and to be as transparent about things that people might be too scared to speak about so that people have, feel as if they have permission to do that for themselves, essentially. I think that's what's super gratifying about doing that, about writing the post, it's about speaking about mental health, about addressing it in my work. And you know, I think that helps. My post notes are basically notes that I write to myself to give myself a sense of encouragement through living with, with severe depression and also it's great that it's being made into a book it's great that they have resonated with so many people the work is a testament to all that I've, I have survived in a way I, I was very intentional about beautiful smallness and a deep profound intimacy art offers us language where others fail so where other languages fails, art offers as a language. So I think view the work with, with, with as much openness and curiosity as possible and hope that people seek to experience the work before they try and understand. I hope the paintings become a mirror for other people to also like archivize how they feel. For their own lives, their own experiences, 